Oh, this is the kind. When you go to heaven, you see here it's a filthy toilet. Don't even want to go down. And your body is a cumbersome. Is that right? A cumbersome. Mm -hmm. huh? Cumbersome. You know, uh, a weighty sack of blood and flesh and bone, and you don't even want to come in. You know what I mean? You feel tight and you feel prison if you have to go back into your 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 body. That's why most of the time when you meditate, the master has to make the transit smoothly. Not like those people who experience at the time of near death or death and things like that. They jerk out the body or they jerk back in the body and that makes them feel reposed. And <coughs> sorry. <coughs> make them feel, you know, disgusted. And they cannot get on with their everyday life. So the difference between the dead near death people or the dead people and come back or the dead people and those of us who die daily is that the transit is very smooth. You come in and out of the body and sometimes you're hardly aware of it. And mostly sometimes it's done in its sleep. So sometimes when you just walk up in the middle of the night suddenly by some noise or some kicking from your partner, then you saw a leftover light or sound or whatever, and then you realize that probably you have been somewhere and just come back, you know, and leftover experience. But then you forget. And that's also good for you. Yeah? And then you progress every day. You're more loving, more wise, and more tolerant, and more easygoing. And you don't know, and you keep complaining sometimes, the Master, I don't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> you see? It's just like the child who has milk and don't realize he has it, but he grows, you see? So the most important is you grow, and yeah? lovingly, wisely, okay? That's important. Then you know you have experience, okay? I thought I always spoke enough already. You know, not, not now, but I think I have spoken enough in the past years mm -hmm. that if you watch all this TV or you listen to our tape, you don't ever have to ask me anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. But there's always something. Yes, there is. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes, there is. Oh. All right, I have spoiled you so much. Mm -hmm. You did say that uh, you will not answer if you do not feel that you should. I forget how you put it. My question is, that when you go inside, mm. as you did a short while ago, and you go deep inside, mm. and the happiness is there, and you're, for lack of a better word, out of this world, and the happiness and joy is there, can you describe it to us? No, forget it. <laughs> Each one for himself. Huh? You eat your meal and don't eat mine. No, <laughs> no it's okay. Sometimes. Uh, I need to, you know, erase something, okay? And then to concentrate again, to serve you better, all right? Instead of uh, paying too much attention to one individual or two, and uh, uh, wh whether or not it's pleasant or not pleasant, they draw too much attention for me, for themselves alone. And I try to get it back for all of you instead, you know what I mean? So I need to quiet down for one, erase that. Erase this cling, clinging attachment, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes people try to get attention from me, uh, doing different actions or different speech, or just, just to catch attention, yeah? uh, unintentionally or intentionally. And I don't want to stay there, especially in a group. I want to pay attention to all of you. you know? Of course, uh, while paying attention to them, I can also pay attention to you sometimes. But that is the, the, the balance is more there. You know what I mean? And I want to be fair with all of you. That's all, okay? That's why I tell them don't speak when when I'm speaking to you. You know? Well, we, that will also attract some of my attention there, you know? Truly. I just remember that I have not finished my answer to you and then somebody else asked a question in Africa. Because you asked me whether a master is different, right? I say a master is a master. Even though if you go to heaven and you see Jesus and somebody else around him, they are also very loving and kind. That no nothing can compare to this earth. But still you see their their light around them is different from, from the master like Jesus, for example. You know what I mean? They are also different. They are different. Yeah? Even they are different already on earth. Some people are virtuous and spiritual. Their lives are brighter. 
around them. Their aura is different from the one who is always angry. They are always in red, you know. <laughs> okay. And the masters are different because of their personality only, not because of their spiritual standard. Of course, there are spiritual standard too. Yeah. But for example, if uh, two Buddhas, the same level of uh, enlightenment, still they are different. Yeah. Why is that different? And you ask me whether the master will become lower in this level. No, they won't. No. You all, what you get is that DNA, left over probably, passed down from generation. Then you get some of the DNA of them through their babies. Yeah, and then their baby born you and, and things like that. So that is the circle reincarnation. But you never get the pure one. Therefore, you have to struggle with the, the habit that is collected within the DNA that you inherited. Understand? That why, that's why when you come here, you are no longer perfect. That's why you have to meditate, hmm? so that you know what you're doing. And you try to fight back the negative information that is inherited within your, your, your cells. That's what you have to fight with, not that you're not perfect. Of course, you're already born chosen in this situation. If you're born in this world, you, you can't find any born master DNA here. Even though if the DNA from the master of the past left here on the earth, and you somehow inherit it, you know, through that family clan, fine. That's why I say you could be born master. But even then, that master has been mixed with many other DNAs already, you know, through, through the lineage, you know, through you know, suppose uh, Master Jesus has a baby. Suppose to, okay, fine. And then his DNA is left in his child. His child might not be a master, but the DNA is still there, okay? Because he also collects other things from the society. It's not necessary to have uh, the pure DNA. And then his, Jesus' baby, bear another baby. And then social environment and collection and habit will be also registered together on top of that DNA that you have inherited originally. You know what I mean? So another heavenly being, supposed to be, now another heavenly being, one that come a master, okay, then probably he chose his, oh, that family has a DNA of a, a master of the past, maybe i born there if I could. You know, and all the possible mm, match in heaven will, the matchmaker in heaven will try very hard, himself try hard to put these two people together with, so that he get the DNA he needs and the situation and the parents in it. But still then, it's not pure anymore. You know what I mean? Not the real Jesus, all right? So even then, there is a mix of a lot of habits apart from the Jesus memories in the cell, apart from all the wisdom he get. It, sometimes it's mixed and blurred and, you know, all, mm, I'll say, uh, diluted, uh, not, not only that, but mixed with another kind of ingredients. And it's very difficult to recognize that mastership in this alone can separate it. You see what I mean? So when that person is a master soul come in that body, he she has still have to find with the negative traits, apart from the good and holy DNA that is inherited from before. Kavish? All right? No? You don't understand? That the master is walking into the most optimum vehicle. Excuse me. Yes. Does that mean that when the master looks down into this realm, the master is walking into what seems to be the most optimum vehicle mm -hmm. to carry the master? Yeah. So it is a union yes. of what is partially here, but yes. it's also coming from yes, above. Yes, yes. Thank you. Anybody, not only master. Before we came, we chose our parents. We chose the approximate you know, surrounding so that we can be born. And that's why abortion is against nature. Understand? Impossible. Avoid. Avoid it. <laughs> Impossible. Okay. Now, <coughs> why you look at me like that? Huh? <laughs> Does this mean that the master? Soul and the soul that is already here incarnated mm -hmm. make an agreement? Yes, a long time ago. Oh. A long time ago. Preparation for a long time. That's why I say the human being is very precious. Human life very precious. Better make use of it in a good way. 
Otherwise, it's rarely we have opportunity again. Okay? <laughs> Too many souls are produced every day, <laughs> and God has to rough them, file them, <laughs> I'll say, yeah, carve them into a perfect statue. Huh? And uh, when we miss it, we won't get the opportunity so, so quickly again, huh? Probably sometimes billions of years, trillions of years go by. Until we are on our, our waiting list <laughs> to be looked into if we miss the chance. Understand? Mm? Okay. So that's why there is a difference between masters and masters. But the master is still a master. Huh? For example, you all learn from a master. And you all came from master master plan from heaven. Still the way you learn, the way you struggle yourself, the way you improve yourself, make you a master, okay? And then other lazy and all like that, they just stay around there. It's all right, they are so, they are heavenly beings, it's okay. But it's not the same, all right? Hmm. Just like a student in